Assalamu alaikum. Amongst the city of champions exists the community of champions, the Edmonton Muslim community. The achievements we enjoy today in this beautiful city are due to the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the dedication and hard work over many years by members of the Edmonton Muslim community. Let us clear our minds and go back in time to join the early pioneers. The year is 1871. A group of immigrants set sail to a land where no other Muslim had ever set foot. They landed on the eastern shores of Canada and with them landed a dream of establishing a Muslim community and becoming active participants in building this great country. They realized the importance of setting a cultural foundation for themselves and their offspring in order to become a healthy component of the Canadian mosaic. With that in mind, they decided to build a mosque the first in the New World. After many years of tireless efforts and determination, during the harsh years of the Great Depression, two pieces of land were purchased for $550. This investment was the first step to building the Muslim community in this part of the country. Shortly after that, construction of the Al Rashid Mosque started. The year is 1938. The grand opening of the Al Rashid Mosque took place during this year and the celebration was attended by well-known Muslim scholars and many important dignitaries. Clearly, the early Muslims enjoyed their stay and felt very much at home. This encouraged more Muslims to settle in the city of champions. Over the years, the Muslim community grew and grew and grew a new Al Rashid Mosque was needed. In 1982, the beautiful and much larger Al Rashid Mosque was completed at a new location in North Edmonton. Four years later, the community established a second mosque in South Edmonton. Believing in the importance of preserving cultural identity, the Edmonton Muslim community in 1988 established the first Islamic school in Alberta. The Edmonton Islamic School opened its doors in the basement of the new Al Rashid Mosque starting with only 21 students. This was the beginning of another major achievement by this great community. During the early years of the Edmonton Islamic community, pressure was growing to demolish the original Al Rashid Mosque due to the expansion of the Royal Alexandra Hospital. In 1992, after overcoming numerous challenges and obstacles, the Muslim community succeeded in preserving the old building at the Fort Edmonton Park as an important piece of Edmonton's rich history. In the same year, the Third Edmonton Mosque was opened to serve the more central university area. The growth of the Muslim community was also felt by the increased demand for Islamic education. In 
In 1997, there were 186 students attending the Edmonton Islamic School wearing their white uniforms. In the year 2000, the first junior high class was opened, marking a new phase in the growth of the Edmonton Islamic School institution. During the years that followed, student registration accelerated and the school was expanding at an increasing rate. The school quickly outgrew the basement of the Al Rashid Mosque. In 2001, the junior high students were moved to the Progressive Academy located in the Glenora area. The school continued to grow. In 2003, the entire school moved to the former St. Patrick School building. This was a necessary but temporary solution. During this time, the community continued to look for a more permanent home. After several years of work and a labor-intensive search, a 12.7-acre piece of land was purchased on 127th Street and 145th Avenue. Now that the land was purchased, it was time to turn concept into reality. Dr. Gulzar Hyder, the Dean of Architecture at Carleton University in Ottawa, was commissioned in 2003 to create a new and unique architectural design for the new Edmonton Islamic Academy building. Dr. Gulzar wanted to create a design that blends the Islamic architectural heritage with the Canadian geographical landscape. He was inspired by a picture of a majestic Canadian iceberg from Canada's Arctic North to create the white minaret shape on top of the Academy building. The famous Group of Seven painting, The Old Stump, was another source of inspiration. When the design was completed, Dr. Gulzar realized, much to his delight, that it also resembled the shape of the Grand Mosque in Mecca. In 2004, construction started on the state-of-the-art Edmonton Islamic Academy building. The great generosity of the Muslim community and the Greater Edmonton community provided eight million dollars that went into the building. Another three million in development fees were deferred over 25 years. However, an 11.6 million dollar debt could not be avoided. Alhamdulillah, after years of hard work and fundraising efforts, the new Edmonton Islamic Academy was opened in 2006. The $23 million building opened its doors to nearly 700 students from kindergarten to grade 9. It was the largest Islamic school facility in North America. Another first for the Edmonton Muslim community and another achievement for the City of Champions. Once completed, the Edmonton Islamic Academy would have 36 modern classrooms.
a spacious courtyard with a mosque in the middle. Four fully equipped, state-of-the-art computer labs. Two large libraries. Two gymnasiums, which will suit all school recreational activities and serve as a meeting and celebration space for the community. A cafeteria with on-site kitchens. This great building was not limited to only teaching the new generations of young Muslims. It also became a community center for all Muslims. Sporting events, conferences, dinners, showers, weddings, and many other events are held at the academy. And of course, the Eid prayers. In 2010, a new chapter was written at the Edmonton Islamic Academy, the opening of high school. In 2012, another milestone was achieved, the opening of grade 12. The Academy reached one of its goals by offering all school grades and the ability to continue on directly to post-secondary education. Most importantly, by the end of 2011, an important achievement for this great community was achieved. The $11.6 million debt was paid off completely after only five short years. An amazing feat for any community. We have taken you on a trip through time. We saw the first Muslim pioneers in Canada and the construction of the first mosque. We witnessed the building of the historic Al Rashid Mosque and the subsequent expansion to the new Al Rashid Mosque also known as the Canadian Islamic Centre. We also observed the pinnacle of achievement of this great community, the building of the modern, state-of-the-art Edmonton Islamic Academy. Over the past century, a lot has changed, except for one thing, the community spirit and generosity. the spirit and generosity that made dreams come true. History continues to be written and there will be more reasons to call Edmonton the City of Champions. Congratulations to the Muslim community in Edmonton and area.